So now we know it's Sam. Wow, that's cute. <laughs> All right, Sam, uh, I guess uh, thanks for your time today. I um, look forward to learning a little bit more about uh, the co-working, I guess, trend that's uh, been going around for a while now. And uh, I appreciate your time uh, as a, I guess, uh, someone that's uh, been using your services in uh, the Platypus co-working space. It's been uh, very, very uh, accommodating for me because of uh, my situation where I have to travel between Melbourne and, and Ballarat and things like that. So it's always helpful to have the location I can come home to. And uh, as you know with me, I've got screaming kids at home, so it's uh, always good to get out of the office. And, uh, and I've done all the, uh, the you know, have an office and work from home, but also have the warehouse where I've had the team working from and things like that. And so, you know, I'm, I'm sort of when I was doing this sort of 10, 15 years ago, this didn't exist. It was not as a common thing. It was either you work from home or you, you uh, had the office and you went through that huge expense that you had to do to, to go there um, and I guess you have caught on to that change and that trend and I guess do you want to maybe give some background on how you kind of came about forming Platypus and why it became your thing and yeah. and why is the benefits of uh, going down with basketball? Yeah, sure. Um, one of the interesting things, especially for, even from your story, is technology. I mean, that's the advancement, I think, and that's why it's changed and why it's opened up a lot more things, both for businesses and um, a variety for people to be able to work from home. So for me, I came from a very big management background um, and I love customer service. And I'd also previously just worked in facility management, so doing what I like to call the soft services side. Um, so the workplace management, um, looking after the staff who worked in a building and all the contracts that manage that. So yep. when I was looking around for a business and different things to do, co-working is something that came up and I think it's a great way of my skills of customer service, liking to know what's happening um, yeah. and helping people and also looking after a building, which I find interesting as well. So, yeah, all the different yeah. varieties. Yeah, for sure. And I guess... From a, from a uh, person who's looking into like doing co-working, um, like is there any sort of things you find common that people sort of either one didn't know about it or two have concerns about what that means to their business by using a co-working space? Is there common things that you you come across? Um, yeah, to an extent, um, a lot of it is people for privacy sometimes I think when it's very open plan and there's a lot of different businesses working but there's a lot of different ways of working and most people aren't interested in other people's business to the extent that they'll be looking at someone else's computer to find out what they're doing. Um, yeah. So it's letting people use it and see how they feel about it and I think that's the best way and that's why asking people to come in and trial is is the great best way for you to actually feel and see because definitely from feedback from people who have come in and been working at home, um, mm -hmm. who has been right at home, that the efficiencies that they've been able to get with able to work, even if they're working limited hours, like five or six hours between school pickups, they can get yeah. so much more done here and it's a way of separating business from home and allowing them to have those separations, which is the hardest part sometimes, especially if you own your own business. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I know like another advantage of that is if you have to ask your clients to come to you mm. they're coming into your home yeah. environment uh, yeah. and you've got all these distractions that come with that uh, mm. you've got set up boardrooms and and private rooms and separate spaces away from the open plan format that you've got so you can get that privacy and that kind of professionalism with yeah your... so i'm in one of the meeting rooms today with a lovely picture yeah. behind me um, <laughs> um it's just a four seating room i've got two of those it allows people to have meetings whenever they want and it can come and go and yeah it gives them professionalism and for a lot of people that's a big step and a lot of them don't want people to know where they live personally as well so that's a, a privacy issue on a different side for a lot of people in that way yeah for sure and i mean and they can also run events and things through the format too so you've created the space you've you've got um, and in some cases you've almost got a ready-made audience because of that co-working environment um, you can develop relationships in the group that you normally wouldn't I guess get from walking down the street or sitting at home so true well Rob's one of the examples of that really um, about that. Exactly. One, of the, one of the natural um, collaborations that just sort of happen in a way which has been the fascinating thing for me to see over the 18 months that we've been open how it naturally just happens um, mm. the establishment of Rob in Ballarat has sort of probably been a great example of that in the different ways and the, and the combination of a lot of different um, mm. 
um, people involved, not just myself and you or different ways of doing it, but yeah. um, it's been interesting to see how people have taken it. So that's a great community establishment and a collaboration. Um, yeah. And, yeah, the different events people can use. Yeah, I have a conference room which allows them to do different things. And then at night we've sort of got a more open plan area where we've done a lot of things with Startup Ballarat here in Ballarat, um, yes. had different speakers in. So, yeah, it's been interesting to see how we can use the space and how different people want to use the space as well. So it's been yeah. open to us that I find. Yeah, exactly. And I guess uh, we've touched on this uh, in conversations outside of uh, this, but, like satellite um, sort of situations where people, you know, have people remote or uh, mm. out of town or whatever the case be, and it then gives them an opportunity to not have all the over infrastructure that comes with a, an overhead of, of setting up an office and a business and things like that. You're a nice conduit between that step. Yeah, definitely. And also they can feel confident that they're projecting a professional um, front for a lot of people when they're instead of working from home and that their desks are set up um, as they'd like them to with a desk and a proper business chair and everything. So it does help with that different thing. It also helps it is a, for a couple of different ones who have come in and used us is that it's been a stepping stone for them to start opening a business in Ballarat. So they've got a big area about, but a way to get out to more regional areas in a much more effective way and a business way. So, yeah. That's fantastic, yeah. And, I mean, even in the short time we've been doing things together, I've noticed that, you know, obviously you can then establish partnerships with other co-working spaces and, you know, develop relationships that way as well. Um, that's sort of a sub-community within the community that's sort yeah. of developed. Uh, yeah. Um, because yeah. in the end, you'll, I mean, we all want to serve people and help them, customer service. So um, it's very much about, yeah, if you can create different partnerships that people will benefit people. Like if you're going on holidays and I can help you, introduce you to another co-working and it allows you still to have have the holiday with the family but maybe get away and do a couple of calls or different things that you need to, well, that's great as well because that's a benefit to everyone. Yeah, and the um, the other thing too is you've got flexibility around how you can pay for your different spaces depending on your business's circumstances. Is that yeah, you know, yeah. Event? So I've got a couple of different levels of allowing people to come into the space. So we've got the co working, but within that co working itself, which is sort of the Monday to Friday nine to five when I'm here, um, mm. there's flexibility to do one day, or you can do. One, 10 days over three months or you can do 10 days in a month and so it's looking about what you need and how because I found that a lot of people just need to get out of the office two days especially if maybe they travel to Melbourne for one or two of the other days that they don't want to work from home so or well, they want to work from home for some of them but other days they just want to have a couple of days and a different couple of options so I find the flexibility has been really good in that way yeah um, so up and What's um, that? <laughs> go there and visit book online and have a look. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and have a look at the different packages uh, that you have going. Um, yeah. So uh, in, in short, to uh, you have a special offer that... Um, yeah, so for anyone watching today, I'm happy for you to come in and um, if you go into Day Pass on the front page under sales um, and just use the coupon ROB or capital R, small O, capital B, I've set it up, but hopefully mm -hmm. if you have any issues, um, yeah. always just email or you can use the chat on the website. I'm I'm on the other end. Yes, <laughs> exactly. I get that. So, um, yeah, so happy to answer any questions and happy for people to just come in and talk to me yeah. about what they're looking for. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and do you have any other success stories? Because I know that that's another thing um, that even in the short time I've been here, I've noticed a few people come in and they their business has grown quite quickly because of this kind of step, uh, which is sad for you. You get to lose a few businesses, but at the same time you watch them grow to the next level. So Yeah, and that's part and benefit of it. For me, I like to see that happen as well. So, yeah, we just had a... Um, one move out, she's gone into bigger premises. So we're in the middle yep. stone for before they had a small one, got into a bigger office, and now they're, they're getting a bigger team and it was more beneficial for them to lease their own premises. So um, with Squash Digital, so they've moved um, like a block away, not too far, so they can still come and visit us, but um, yep. in lots of different ways. It's I think that's exciting as well to see how we can help businesses in the stepping stone process. Yeah. To and decrease in size at different times when they need it. So for sure, and um, even with the uh, things we're talking about, referrals over breakfast uh, as mm -hmm. part of that collaboration. Um, when people come to that event, they get to obviously experience uh, your 
location and go through that. And uh, depending again on the day, sometimes uh, they can try out the the location if they come yeah. to the meeting and uh, see it and try it try it before you buy it kind of situation. Um, yeah. So that's another way to come down and meet Sam and uh, everyone yeah. and uh, be at the uh, event and, and see what comes from it for you. But um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, I guess uh, when printing other services what's the other like, so everything's cost included really and that's one of the benefits of um a co-working um in that everything's included in the price i mean you've got the kitchens are fully set up you've got all your utilities um heating and cool, um, cooling um or your furniture um only yeah optional i've got some printing but it's enough printing that it covers most people's amount of printing yeah. that they do every month so yeah um, sure. on top of that so yeah it's an inclusive price which makes it much more affordable as well for a lot yeah. of people um yeah. and then we've got plans that are 30 days with 30 days notice so it's month to month and 30 days notice so right what, what about phones and um internet and all that kind of stuff is that part of it or do you have separate sort of packages for those kind of things as well Oh, okay. So the Wi-Fi is always included. So that's the yeah. major thing I think that everyone looks for. So that is, I just have to it, so. <laughs> a password. So that's all included in the cost. The only thing, so on the main floor of the open plan, we don't really have any handset phones. People have their mobiles and they answer those as they need to. And usually they'll go off to some other area, um, depending mm -hmm. on what the call is. In the offices, we do have the ability to put in a phone and get a Ballarat number for them if that's okay. Like they like and it's a cost inclusive um, deal that's not too expensive and then there's also some um, with the different with the offices and the dedicated desk which you get 24 7 access you also get ability to do some advertising a little bit more than the other ways yeah, to show yeah that's no, fantastic yeah great um, I guess uh, that pretty much covers it. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to sort of highlight that we haven't highlighted through this process? Yeah, I was just thinking virtual mail or having a virtual oh, address right, yeah. is the most, uh, like a good starting point or a good point. So you're working from home, but you don't want to use your home address um, yep. or you want to have a Ballarat address. So you can use that and there's a cost per month, but you get a free a day pass included every month for that. Um, so it's a good yeah. stepping stone. You get invited to all our members' events. You get the discounts that all the members get too. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. No. Look out there. All those things. I guess, like as uh, this video is highlighted, uh, they can reach out to you and take up that offer, and yeah. uh, you know, learn more. You're not not far away. You're always open mm -hmm. to a conversation and, and talking about it. So um, I do appreciate your time. And hopefully, uh, anyone out there that did come across this today, uh, you know, you, you've seen the, the benefits of co working and what you can learn and take from it. And uh, reach out to Sam if you want to learn more. So thanks for your time, Sam. I appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. Loved it. Thank you. Take care. See ya. Bye.